Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, Milton Williams, Jordan Davis, Linval Joseph, Marlon Tui Pelotu, and now you bring in Indomitka Sue? Oh my God. Listen, y'all, smash the like button. This is your boy, Tone Dishos, the second from Chalk It Up Sports. I appreciate y'all for locking in on the content. Like I said, continue to smash that like button, continue to, to support the channel. But Harry Roseman is on fire right now. He's on fire. If you ask, you shall receive. The Philadelphia Eagles decided to bring in Indomitka Sue on a one year deal to bolster their run defense. And I, and, and I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words because what Harvey Roseman continues to show you is that whenever he sees a hole, whenever he sees a need, he's going to address it and push in doing this, making this move lets you know one thing. Harvey Roseman is all in on the season this year. He sees this team as a, as a Super Bowl contender. He believes the team, this team can win it all. And it says a lot about where he sees Jalen Hurts. It says a lot about how he sees this coaching staff as well, in particular, Jonathan Gannon. Because two games straight, we saw this defense without Jordan Davis. Two games in a row. And we saw the impact Jordan Davis had. He may not play 50% or 60% of the snaps, but we understand that Jordan Davis was a run stuffer. And his body, his you know, just his presence alone would limit the opposition's rushing attack. But we've had, but we've had several games of the run defense declining, slowly but surely. And the holes needed to be plugged. That's why the Eagles went and signed Linval Joseph. That's why they signed Indomitka Sue. But it begs the question, why couldn't Jonathan Gannon figure it out with the guys in the building? Were the guys not bought into what he asked of them after Jordan Davis went down? I don't know. That's a conversation for another day. But you bring in Indomitka Sue, and that just bolsters the rotation tremendously. So Ndamukong Sue, he plays a similar role to what Fletcher Cox does, right? But I believe Ndamukong Sue is a better run stuffer. Um, I, I, I just I just feel like Ndamukong Sue was the best all around defensive tackle um, out there right now, and a lot of people were rumored um, to be courting Ndamukong Sue, right? But he decided to sign with the Philadelphia Eagles on a one year deal. Adam Schefter um, broke the news. You're going to have Fletcher Cox rotating with Ndamukong Sue. You're going to have Linval Joseph rotating with Jordan Davis when he comes back. You're going to see Milton Williams rotating with Javon Hargreave when he comes back. Like, like this, this, this tells me so much about this Philadelphia Eagles team, and I expect nothing but good things. I expect Jonathan Gannon to have something in place to be able to limit what's been going on on defense. The Washington Commanders embarrassed you, not because of the average amount of runs or average amount of yards they, they put up, but it was the fact that they they stuck to it and it allowed them to stay on schedule. They only averaged about three yards a carry, but they averaged just enough to continue to put themselves in short guarded situations. And Dominic Sue is not just a run stuffer as well. He's also a pass rusher. I think he had about seven sacks last year with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He had he had multiple sacks um, in that Super Bowl um, that he won with the Buccaneers a couple years back. So and Dominic Sue gives you a lot and he just adds another body. He adds some veteran leadership. This is this is a big deal for Jordan Davis as well in the long term because he gets this be in the room with Fletcher Cox, Jerron Hargrave, and Dominic Sue, Linval Joseph. He's getting a master class at the defensive tackle position. And that's one of the most – that's a bonus, right? You know, that's a bonus on top of everything. But now, what do we expect? The Philadelphia Eagles play the Indianapolis Colts this Sunday. Do we expect – us to shut down or do we expect them to shut down Jonathan Taylor? I expect Jonathan Taylor to probably have no more than 80 yards in this game. And I think, and I think that's, that's fair when you think about the moves that have been made and the fact that we got the pieces. Jonathan Taylor is one of the best running backs in this NFL, but the way, the way Harry Roseman has been moving, there's no excuse for anybody. Jonathan Gannon should have no excuses. Last year, he had all the excuses in the world about he, him not having the talent. you got plenty of talent. You ask and you shall receive. Howie Roseman has pushed every single button. He's putting he's pushing all his chips in on the table. This 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 is a this is a very fascinating year for the Philadelphia Eagles, and I don't know how far they're going to go. That's you know I I can't predict. You know this NFL is so so. This NFL is all over the place. Really, you got you got teams that are winning. 
that probably that you didn't expect. You got a team losing that you probably didn't expect. It's a wacky year for the NFL. Anything's possible. But, man, and Dominica Sue to the Philadelphia Eagles on a one-year deal, that just does everything. Um, what do I expect? This Sunday, I expect Dominica Sue probably to play about 20 snaps, 15 to 20 snaps. And then you can't forget bringing in Robert Quinn. Like, some of these guys haven't made their impact yet, but I feel like these I feel like these are long-term impacts in terms of the season, right? Not beyond this year, but I feel like these moves are the type of moves you make for high performance, high leverage guys and high in, in, in high leverage situations. Like in Dominic Sue and Robert Quinn, I feel like those are like the uh those are like those fourth quarter sack guys that you get it when you least expect it or get it when you need it the most. You know what I'm saying? Like I expect this team, this team is built to win it all. It's just that simple. So it's going to be important for Jalen Hurts to, you know, steady the waters this week, you know, quiet the naysayers, get back on Broad Street, get back on, you know, get back on, get back on road, get a win on the, get get a win on the road in, in Indianapolis and bring it back home. You know, I'm really excited for what's to come, but at the end of the day, we got to see if Jonathan Gannon can put it together. And it's straight like that, you guys. I'm your guy, Tony Just a second from Chalk of Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge to the game. I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the support. Continue to smash that like button. Continue to stay engaged. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.